when we're looking at the achilles tendon we're going to palpate the posterior aspect of the calcaneus where the achilles tendon comes down and attaches onto we're going to place our probe on initially in a long axis view using our little finger just to give us a little bit of positional feedback as to where the tendon is and you'll start to see that very clear distinct appearance of the tendon uh, attaching onto the bright white calcaneus so you then move your probe up using that little finger just to give you a bit of feedback as to where you are you'll see that uniform appearance of the Achilles at the top of the screen. Dense collagen fibres and a linear orientation. Deep to that, we can start to see the Kager's fat pad and just proximal to the distal insertion, you'll see that little pocket of fluid here. This is often quite normal in a normal state, but this is the region of the retrocalcaneal bursa deep to the Achilles at its distal insertion. As we come up, the leg we can change our depth a little bit at this point and we can start to appreciate the more hyperechoic appearance of the Kager's fat pad sitting deep to the FHL tendon which we can move with uh, first MTP joint uh, flexion and extension you can see that very clearly here and see the Kager's fat pad superficial to it and the most proximal aspect of the Kager's fat pad there.